That's custom. That's custom. <laughs> Not too shabby. Get all those hinges put on today. See if I can see about any of these gauges. Yes, sir. As I was letting it warm up. When you're hungry and the window don't work, sometimes you just gotta compromise. Yes, sir. This is my dad's 87 C10. He's fully frame off restored this. He's almost got it back going. It's getting close. He was looking at stuff on the one I'm working on. I was looking at stuff he was doing. We were just using both of them, make sure we knew where the wires one and stuff were. Everything looking like this, but I doubt it. Yours was looking like that one time ago, wasn't it? Last step, let's get the bed going. Accidentally put five gallons of diesel fuel in there. Didn't like that diesel fuel too much, did it? No. The spark plug sure didn't like it. <laughs> it's the before. After you throw your whole checkbook at it. The frame off part of the restoration is the easy part. The frame back on is the <laughs> expensive part. <laughs> State. It's just alternator wires, it ain't that big a deal or anything. What up, G? Man, what in the hell they got going on you here? You say ghetto? ghetto. Like this. That's custom. That's custom. We did not do this. Just for the books. <laughs> Take all the credit. We did not do this. Whoa. This is the way some people do it. That's how. All right. Okay. Now let's show him how he does That's it. Yeah. Does this have four power wires running under the motor? Don't get me lying. Four running back. <laughs> Let me just tell you, the door hinges were not as easy as I thought. You gotta just take the whole <coughs> dash apart for one bolt. 
in there. Guess I should have looked at them better. Had to pull the door off. Get it all the way down. Got one bolt left just for the one. We're getting there though. Got this door done. See this other door turned out nice. What? Yes, sir. Done that a time or two? Yes, sir. Me too. He just happened to be working on this one, so uh, figured I'd come get some pointers. New hinges. No rattle. New hinge, new hinge. No rattle. Yes, sir. You got a dent. Just get you a daisy rider. Already popped out most of it. Here's the body tool. He wants me to use the cane. Hey, let's see. Mm. Did it come out? Okay, let me get the body tool. Put the, that down. What dent? Man, get out of here. Every shop should have a body tool like that. Oh, a little Daisy Rider. Do the same. Yes, sir. What'd you do? Just advance the timing a little? Tire 350, the pattern chain just got slack in it. It's just overturned. Yes, sir. Hit it, Chevy. Back in business. So the gauge wasn't working, the temperature gauge. Yep, it's maxing out. So you go out here. This isn't the motor that was in this truck, so I just put this motor in there. And they had it tied up. And it sits tied up right there. But when we ground it out, it makes the gauge go all the way up. So now get rid of that aftermarket gauge, get a normal temp sensor put in there. And then I'll have the factory gauge working instead of that. Yes, sir. Oh, so to advance the time a little bit. Sure is cranking a whole lot better. Yes, sir. This linker switch is definitely shorted out. But full with it. But you hear that buzzing? Blinker switch, definitely bad. Get that tomorrow, hopefully. We're home now. Calling it a night just as it's starting to rain. Thank y'all for watching. Some more content with the old beater tomorrow.